Week 13, problem four. Two light sources are used in a photoelectric experiment to determine the work function for a particular metal surface. Okay, when green light from a mercury lamp is used, a stopping potential of one volt reduces the photo current to zero. Based on this measurement, what is the work function of the metal? All right, so draw a picture first. So we have some metal. As I discovered earlier, I can draw parallelograms. Yeah, but I want it to be, ah, oh, no, now it's behind the picture. Maybe if I click there, no, that doesn't work at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. So we have metal. I have some sort of diode, some electrode, something, something. And we'll make something blue. So, all right, so we have photon like this. Goes like this, strikes, we then have an electron which comes off. I'm gonna say that we have a battery. Maybe, do I have to complete the current? I don't know. So this is a battery, so this is the negative side right here. So the idea here then is we can have a, um, hmm, does this work? Maybe this works. And I'll say this is great. Maybe. All right, so basically we have this metal plate right here, and we're shooting photons at it. And this guy is negatively charged. So what happens is um, electrons are ejected off. They're given some sort of energy from this photon, and the electrons are shot off, and they hit this other metal plate, and then you're measuring the voltage. So the voltage is, you know, let's call this guy zero right here, and you're at some negative voltage. Then an electron hits it, bloom, and it dips down. Does it dip down? Yeah, it probably dips down. And another electron hits, that sort of thing. Well, the electrons are going to be repelled from this. So what's happened is, as this electron gets closer and closer to this negative plate, it's eventually going to get pushed back and away. So once we turn up the voltage, or turn down the voltage enough, we make the negative voltage strong enough, eventually none of the electrons are going to be, the little, there'll be fewer and fewer blips, and they'll get smaller and smaller, and eventually there'll be no blips, because the electrons won't even be reaching the middle plate at all. And so they're saying the point at which there is uh, no more electrons reaching the plate is one, one volt. All right, so what they're doing is they're telling us energy. So I write up an equation. Let's see, this is a photoelectric effect. So maybe if I Google this, by Google I mean Wikipedia. Photoelectric. You know, I think there's only three things I use to actually do like search engine stuff. It's Google, Wikipedia, and YouTube. All right, right here. The maximum kinetic energy of an ejected electron is given by HF minus, I think that's a fee. Sometimes a noted term is the work. Oh, no, that's not a fee. That's a, um... oh, man. I so wish I, oh, I need to, my Greek is terrible. That's a fee. I don't think that's a fee. Anyway, not important. So, hmm, HF minus, okay. So I'm just going to write that down. So we got make small, make pen, energy kinetic equals HF minus V. All right, so this guy is work function. Is that stopping potential? I think there's a word for that. Stopping potential. Um, hmm. 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 Work function. All right. So let's look at this logically. So we have, so the amount of energy of an electron that's ejected is going to be, so this is going to be energy of ejected electron. This is going to be the energy of incoming photon. And this guy is going to be whatever energy is required to detach it. So, right, 
So all the energy we started with, so it would be the energy of the photon, and then if we move this guy over to the other side, that would equal the amount of energy we're given to the electron and the amount of energy we had to give to whatever that was holding the electron to have it give up the electron. Okay, so this seems reasonable. What is the work function of this metal? I think that's the work function right there. So we're gonna rearrange this guy. So V equals HF, no. V, the work function, equals, yeah, this is HF. HF minus energy, I'm not gonna say K, I'm gonna say electron, but it is kinetic energy of the electron, okay? So, hmm, what information do they give us? So a stopping potential, okay? Hmm, hmm. So the stopping potential tells us about this guy right here. So the stopping potential, hmm, the definition of an electron volt is, um, hmm, what is the definition of an electron volt? I know it's what I want, but I don't, I should probably get a good definition. Electron volt. Electron volt. Da, da, da. Electron is not an SI unit. Okay. Wow. They gave us a lot of data that I really didn't care about. So, one electron volt is equal to that. Okay. Standard unit measure. So, because a particle with charge Q has an energy equals QV, bam, energy equals Q times V, where in this case Q is the electron charge. That's passing through potential V. All right. So, Either way, since we're using electrons and volts, the energy we have here is an elect one electron times one volt. So this is one electron volt. Okay? And then HF is, do we know the frequency? 546.1. So HF equals 546.1. Um, Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this guy real quickly. Let's try and prove my handwriting. HC over lambda minus one electron volt. So we know HC over lambda is one, two, four, zero electron volt nanometers over, I think I said five, four, six, five, four, six point one. Five, four, six point one minus one electron volt. This is nanometers. Cancel, cancel. So one, two, four, zero divided by five, four, six point one, five, four, six point one. Then we'll do minus one, minus one electron volt. So we're given 1.27 equals 1.27 electron volt. Bam. And that's our answer right there. So in case I lost you along the way, because, well, I was pretty lost most of the way too. So here's the equation we have. A energy of an electron that's ejected from metal is gonna be the energy that the gamma gave to it coming in minus whatever energy was required to destick it. Rearrange an equation and using the voltage of one and one electron to give us the energy of one electron volt we can then rearrange the equation and solve for the work function. So this is the work function of the metal. A work function is unique to a metal. So when they say what stopping potential would be observed when using light from a red lamp, we know that the um, stopping function, or not the stopping function, the work function for that metal is going to stay the same. So now we're looking for this guy right here. Yep, we're looking, so the stopping potential. So what it's saying is, the, when they say stopping potential, what they mean is th this, uh, the electron has some energy as it's ejected. Well, how much energy is it gonna take to stop that electron? That's all they're going for here. And they're saying potential because they're using voltage, but what they're really meaning is energy. They're saying the potential times a um, charge, i.e. an electron's charge. Therefore, you have an energy. All right. Hmm, now I got lost. Stopping. Okay. So now we're going to have 
hc over lambda minus um, 1.27 electron volts. Now 1.27 is the work function that we already found, which equals, nope, 1240 electron volts nanometers over 650. Oh, it would have been so much better if it was 6, 1.27. So this is going to be almost 1. So we have 1240 divided by 6650 minus 1.27. Make sure I get that right. 1240, 650, 1.27. Got it. And that gives us 1240, which is almost like 2. 0.638, 0 0.638 equals 0 0.638 volts. All right, so that's saying it's easier to stop the red light than the green light, which would make sense because the wavelength of the green light was smaller, therefore it had a higher frequency. So the long wavelength had lower energy. Yes, the long wavelength had lower energy, therefore it's easier to stop the electron once it, once it was ejected. Yeah, I'm good at that. So, I would not memorize this too much. I would try and conceptually understand the idea that uh, energy balance, photon has energy, hits an electron, transfers that energy over to the electron, some energy is lost in getting out of its uh, whatever energy well, whatever is keeping it attached to that metal, and then whatever energy is not lost but it's still got you that you still had from the photon is in becomes kinetic energy. So this is basically um, energy initial equals energy final. That's the whole idea of this one: energy balance, conservation of energy. Okay, so this one is. One of those problems where a modicum of understanding is better than a pound of memorizing. All right? Hope that wasn't too bad for you guys. See you on problem number five.